just take us through. I've given you a penalty. You've got a kick at post. Okay. Take us through the whole process. OK. So, first of all, I'd line, I'd line the ball up. I'd put the valve at the, at the front and, and aim it down the middle of the post, hopefully. Uh, this isn't quite like mine, but I'll put it... Uh, and then, obviously, I'll, I'll walk back and make sure that's in the middle of the post. Um, everybody, everybody's different, uh, the way they set up, and it's about how you feel, how you feel comfortable and, and where's best for you. But then, when I come back to where I feel comfortable and, and start lining the kick up, I'll pick something far beyond the post so that the, fo the posts are irrelevant and hopefully narrow that target down. And then what I'll do is the, the weird eye thing that you see is I'll draw, a, I'll draw a line from the ball to hopefully where I want to kick it and I'll keep, I'll keep drawing a line for some reason and then uh, I'd hopefully kick the ball along that line. OK, so we see that line, and that, you talk about just coming back. I'm sure there's loads of kids around the, the country who play, who will walk up to the ball and they'll go, one, two, three, four, one. You don't do that, because it's habitual brain patterning. How many hours a day are you kicking for? Um, I don't know, it differs. I think every, every time after training, um, I'll, kick, I'll kick until I'm comfortable, or I'll give myself a set amount of kicks and, and put a bit of pressure on myself to make sure I... It's as close to a game as possible. Well, you can't have any more pressure than trying to kick in those shoes. So let's see if you can slot this one over. Yeah. I'll slip. Please don't slip over again. It's a big game at the weekend. I'll try. Easy. There you go. I didn't. I nearly slipped. Great demo, actually. Brilliant demo.